God. This is the Word of God, by the way. This is the Bible. I know we've all forgotten it, but this is the Bible, the Word of God. Are you alright, bro? It says this. It says, anybody wants to jump in, ask a question. We're, we're not like the BBC, who don't believe in free speech. We believe in free speech. So any, anyone want to come here and have a chat with me, ask a question? Come in. You're welcome to do so, yeah? I believe in equal opportunity. I believe that people should have the right to question and think. And so you can come in and question and chat and have a discussion with me anytime. There's a few people around here that might do that. It says, there is none understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God that has gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sephulchre. Now tell me, people say, people say the Bible's not relevant. Let's see if the Bible's relevant today. Let's see, yeah? Let's see, let's see. Folks, I'm getting old, I've got to wear glasses. So it says here, their throat is an open sephulchre, their tongue they have used to seek the poison of us is under their lips. I tell you what, this sounds like Coronation Street and EastEnders, doesn't it? Eh? Listen to this, this is, this is, this sounds better than Coronation Street and EastEnders. Listen to this. His mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. That sounds like Manchester on a Saturday night, doesn't it? Eh? Destruction and misery are in their ways. That sounds like the British government going over to Iraq causing wars. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. You know, little kids used to be taught years ago to have fear of God. So when you grew up, you had respect to your elders. That's all gone now. It's all broken down. A lady was telling me that in Uganda, Everybody went to church and everybody be belonged in a community. Everybody knew each other. But that's broken down now. We don't have that. We've lost our sense of community. We've lost our sense of identity. Yeah? We've lost that. But why? Why have we lost our sense of identity? It's because of the heart, the human heart. Our hearts are broken from God. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> thanks, sir. Our so hearts are, are broken. Now, let me ask you this. Who's perfect here? Anybody perfect? The Bible says, thou shalt not lie. Has anybody lied here? Anybody lied? Yep. The Bible says, thou shalt not steal. Has anybody stolen here? Have you stolen, bro? We've all stolen, yeah? The Bible says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Anybody look to the woman or the man with lust? Anybody? He's honest. He's honest. I like you, bro. I tell you what, this is better than Jeremy Carl show, isn't it? We've gone through stealing. We've gone through all these things, yeah? Now, here's the point. What's going to happen to you when you meet God on Judgment Day? Hellfire. Hellfire. Hellfire, yeah. This guy knows his stuff. Now, here's the question. Jesus went to the cross to save us and died so that you wouldn't have hellfire oh. because any stealing that you've done, he died as a thief, but he never stole anything. Every time you swear, he died for your swears, but he never swore once. Yeah? Every time you look to the woman and a man for sex, he died on that cross for those things, but he never did anything. So, how do you get to heaven, folks? How do you get to heaven? Anybody know how you get to heaven? If anybody knows how to get to heaven, I'll stand on my head. Oh, you, he knows, yeah, I'm asking the crowd here. But you know, keep quiet, keep quiet. I don't want to stand on my head. How do you know? Here. Yeah. This is what religion says. You might agree with this. It says, religion says, do your best. Go to church, go to mosque. Be nice, wear a nice suit. Help the poor. This sounds good, doesn't it? And you do all these things, and you know what? Religion says you'll get to heaven. But that's not the way to heaven, folks. That's not the way to heaven. There's a, 
There's a first place thing, first thing that you've got to get in place before you go to heaven. What's that? It's believing on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Jesus, you, yeah, are you Muslim, yeah? Okay. You're asking me a question, but let me just finish. Jesus Christ died on the cross. For, we'll get that, we'll do that, we'll do that in a minute. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin. Now, if you believe that, you'll be saved. Do you know why? Because he was perfect, you're not perfect. But he's so weak. Yeah. He's so weak. But by the foolishness of weak, by the, God uses the weak things of the world to confound the mighty. God uses the weak, come on girls, have a chat. God uses the weak things of the world to confound the mighty. People want to control by mighty armies. People want to come in with tanks and guns and control in mighty ways. God didn't do that. He came down and he came riding on a donkey. And he came into Jerusalem and they grabbed him. And then they put a crown of thorns on his head and put him on the cross. But we want tanks and guns. But God says, no, I save you by the cross, Jesus. So he will save us, but he can't save himself. His self he can't save. Now let me tell you this. Jesus said this. Jesus said this. Very important. He said this when he was on the cross. Very good. He said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Do you remember that? Do you know? Let me finish. Let me finish. Do you know why he said that? Because in Psalm 22, 1,000 years before Jesus, it talks about a man surrounded whose hands and, and feet are being nailed. And it says, a thousand years before Jesus, the man says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So when Jesus is on the cross saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He is pronouncing a prophecy that came true in him. Because when he said that a thousand years before, when David said it a thousand years before, he said this, listen to this. He said, They cast lots for my garments. A thousand years before Jesus, they cast lots for my garments. And when Jesus was on the cross, and he said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Do you know what happened? He said, Two soldiers cast lots for his garments. So he fulfilled the prophecies. Now you said, why did God die? How can God die? If you get the Quran, and I burn the Quran, does that mean the Quran is dead? No. So... The Quran you say is eternal, I don't believe that, but many believe it's eternal. It became eternal through Gabriel, this is what you believe, then through Muhammad, then his companions, then they wrote it down on sticks and stones and bones, then it became paper. But if you burn the paper, does it destroy the Quran to you? No. So it came eternal, came to paper, burn it, doesn't destroy it. Right? Listen, Jesus is the eternal word, he became a man. You destroy the man. It doesn't destroy the eternal word. Exactly what you're saying with the Quran. We are saying with Jesus. God didn't come down in paper. He came down in a map. You believe God came down in paper. God's word. God's word. Yes, it didn't work in the Quran. It just means it's just work in the Quran. Just say, I don't work in the Quran. You're only just a book. I know, I know. But is the Quran eternal? Jesus, as a holy God, as a holy man, so he died. Is, is, is the Quran, is the Quran eternal? Okay, if it's eternal, listen, if the Quran's eternal, you've got two gods. You've got Allah and you've got the Quran. Because there's only one person who has ever existed forever, that is God. You mean eternal, that's uh, forever? Forever. No, the Quran is not eternal. They're not eternal. No Muslim can be told that Quran is eternal. So you're a heretic. No. You're not a true Muslim. You've got away from your faith, bro. I'm teaching Islam to you now. We don't need it. You know. Most Muslims, bro. Okay. Before Muhammad come. Do you want to talk here? No, no. Do you want to debate here? Come and debate here. Come on, bro. Before Muhammad come, you know, there is no Quran. Let's shake hands first. This is respectful dialogue, yeah. Before Muhammad come, there is no Quran. You know?